Hi everyone, it's Nadine from Barometer Chocolate and I would like to show you a new bar that just arrived yesterday. It is a pistachio jandia from a company in Budapest called Rosa Volgi Chocolade. And I was thinking that some of you may not know what jandia is. So I think most of us are probably familiar with Nutella. You've either spread it on your kid's sandwich or just eaten it from a spoon out of the jar and it's tasty. It's made from chocolate and hazelnuts and they throw in a bunch of other ingredients that aren't so natural, but it's quite yummy. Uh, the Janjuyas that I work with are more elevated and I wanted to give you a little more of a background about the history of Janjuya. So Janjuya was actually the name of a character from Italian theater from centuries ago, like around 1630. And he, Gianduia was the character's name. Um, he was a peasant from the Italian Piemontese countryside. He wore three corner hat and a brown jacket with a red border. Apparently he had an affinity for food and wine and the ladies and um, Janduya that we know of today was lovingly named after him. And I'll put this in a little bit of a historical context for you. So in 1861, years after the Napoleonic Wars, Italy was um, strapped for cash. They had already been rationing cacao and they decided to um, get a little more money into the government. They would increase the import taxes on certain goods such as cacao. And this negatively impacted the chocolatiers in, in Torino and all throughout Italy. They decided to be a little more creative and incorporate more of the local ingredients into their confections. And hazelnuts are um, widespread in the region. And so they started to uh, use hazelnut in their treats. So this is unusual because this lovely bar is not made from the traditional hazelnuts, but rather from pistachios, as I mentioned in the beginning. I love pistachio, I hope you do too. I'm gonna to open the bar. First, I'll just show you close up how pretty this wrapper is. If you know this brand from Hungary, you know that the bars themselves are a work of art. And um, I wanna open it carefully because I wanna try not to break the bar. I want to show it to you whole. This is the inner wrapper. It's like a present. Okay. Here's the beautiful bar. Look how pretty. These bars are molded to look like antique fireplace tiles. And they themselves are just, it's almost too pretty to eat, but I am gonna eat it because I want you to see how lovely it is. Not just aesthetically, but to your taste buds. It's quite soft. You know, normally I talk about the snap of a bar, but this one, because it has the hazelnut paste and it's, um, it's almost like an infusion bar. It doesn't have uh, inclusion pieces. It's smooth inside. Can you see? so it will melt beautifully on your palate. Okay, I'm gonna do what I normally do. I already broke it, so now I'm gonna smell it. I bring it close to my nose like I'm telling it a secret. Looks like I have a Janduya mustache. Um, it smells amazing. I smell the hazel, the, um, the pistachio rather. It's very roasty, nutty smell. And I'm gonna take a little bite. Mm. This is so creamy. It's um has a beautiful melt in your mouth. And I love it. I totally recommend it. This is actually I I bought it even without tasting it because I have familiarity with their almond ginger bar, which I also love. If you are a fan of pistachio, you will absolutely love this bar. I'm just about, after this video, I'm going to add it to my inventory and you can find it at 
www.barometerchocolate.com. I wish you a wonderful night and um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.